Hello everyone and welcome back to my very first Q&A video. I have never ever done one of these so I'm completely clueless what I should be saying here other than thank you. Thank you for the 500 subscribers and over 200 followers on Tumblr. I am blessed. Thank you. Thank you so much. I want to start with a question that came from my dear brother and he was a mean one because he went like if he could design an expansion for The Sims, what would its main feature be? And if you can't think of anything for that, what about a stuff pack? And I was talking about this with my hubby for a little while, and I, then we realized it should be something to do with Sixam. Adventures to Sixam, and maybe, you know, making, making a colony in Sixam or something the other that could have go in, in a way with eco lifestyle instead of saving the world we have already ruined it and we need to move out and make a colony in well six them like or in a space station or something like something space uh, space related could have been fun there is the sims 3 uh, expansion bag into the future i believe it was called that i enjoyed immensely for that game and i spent a lot of time in the future <laughs> so i enjoyed that a lot so that's why 6m something with 6m could have been really fun what inspired you to start a youtube channel and this is actually interesting in a way that it wasn't actually me who created my channel in the first place it was my husband who created the channel for me and he was actually editing my videos for the longest of time uh, and i just record them and he edited when he had time and well now it's just me editing and recording all by myself i rarely ask for him his help anymore he did he has taught me really well uh when did you start playing the sims i think i saw my brother play the sims one one of the packs while i was in college and i was visiting home for the summer i was having a summer training or something from the school and I was not too hyped about it, but it looked pretty fun. I mean, it was the perfect perfect game to kill Sims. Everything was on fire and they died on hunger and everything. Like, it was just hilarious. I played The Sims 2 for hundreds of hours, though. Like, I loved it. I think it, I think I was about 20 at the time when I first saw the game. I'm, I'm not sure anymore at this point, honestly. I could have been 18, 19, 20, something in the line of that. What is your favorite type of build to build? I love building modern homes and minimalist homes. The, uh, well, ba basically anything that is playable. I don't do crazy designs. I make very like uh, real life relating houses and homes. I do very little of those like crazy, crazy designs that I love seeing, but I put everything is prioritized by is it playable and is it working in my build so i never do anything that doesn't work or that sim gets stuck somewhere or you know whatever some of you know this already what got you to cc creating um i just i was just on some point thinking like i need recolors of certain items so i couldn't find them online anywhere because i don't want that much alpha stuff or meshes in my game. So I was like, okay, fine, I'll do them myself. And here I am now completely hooked on the whole recolor situation. I love looking for new patterns and stuff like that online. It's a wonderful, wonderful way to spend my time when I can't record or don't have time to record. What are your favorite words in the language you speak? Oh my goodness, okay. Finnish language is, well, my husband could go into this huge rant about it, how annoying and awful and wonderful at the same time it is. Um, but I would need to say that it's not one word, but it is a two word combo, nonin. And it can be used in pretty much every possible scenario. Like anything you can think of, people can be like nonin, or they can be nonin. Like it because it, it's so versatile. It's such a wonderful, wonderful phrase. 
And I'll be linking a Finnish comedian uh, who is having a little uh, like stand-up thing for this exact phrase. So that that'll be something fun for you to watch. What are your feelings about hippos? Well, <laughs> they are scary, big feckers that are using little birds as their dentists. Um, they, they, they are wonderful animals. I love every single living creature on this earth. That there's nothing that I don't like. There's nothing that I hate. Uh, I am scared to feck of any bumblebee bee that makes a bzz sound. They're scary. But, you know, hippos, they're wonderful on their own very special way. They're wonderful. If you could visit any period of history, where and why? Oh, goodness. Okay. You guys, I would want to see ancient Egypt, Rome, and England, uh, Great Britain, back in the 800. Uh, it just, I am sucker for history, and especially for those areas. Um, maybe human history, I would want to go, you know, like, when... Like, I just love humans, you know, like, it, it's very in intriguing how different Incas and everything, how differently every single society and country and land has lived. It's very interesting. All of it has been bloody and other hand very religious and mysterious and I just love it all. It, it's all so beautiful. What are your favorite Finnish foods? Um, it's something that I do not know actually words in English exactly for. I call them Karelian pies and egg butter. I'll probably have to put up a picture for you here for that. How about any food? Uh, I'm sucker for good Asian curry. Yeah, I, I love it. Which countries have you visited? Uh, here's a fact for you. I have not traveled much. I have been on a class trip with my uh, high school class in Sweden and Norway. Uh, I have had a pit stop at Germany when I was flying to, well, going to visit Holland, my previous uh, boyfriend. And then I have also visited England a couple of years ago. I'm not big for traveling. I don't really enjoy it that much. <laughs> not gonna lie. What is my favorite pack in The Sims 4? Uh, I keep returning to Sulani over and over again, so I think it is island living. There's something very peaceful and lovely in Sulani. Uh, I don't... I haven't played with mermaids exactly, but I just like the aesthetic and the building opportunities on the water side lots a lot. First Sims game you ever played? Well, it was The Sims 1 and one of the billion packs that it had, but I can't remember what it was called. Uh, I wasn't much into gaming back then and don't actually remember the back name, like, not at all. Like, no idea whatsoever. But it was, a, it was The Sims 1 for sure. Favorite game outside The Sims? Um, well, it is World of Warcraft. I have been playing it since 2007 and keep playing it as long as it is going out, I think. Like, it, it is the best MMO I have ever played and I met my husband in there and everything, so I'm all in for that game. Top three packs you'd recommend to someone just getting into The Sims 4? Okay. Well, I'm gonna put Island Living for this purely for the beautiful map and the lots to build on. Um, I also want to pull Parenthood because it fits for story and any let's play purposes very well. It gives a little depth and for the gameplay and it does have nice uh, items. Also, I want to be probably on the minority of the people, but Tiny Living, I love, 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 love the furniture uh, stuff on that pack. So. That, that too. If, if the person likes to build, then these are the ones I, I would put up on the list. How long does it usually take to film, edit, upload a video? Well, gosh, um, it really depends. My Let's Play videos take about two hours, probably from the start to finish. I build very infrequently right now, 
So I may take days, weeks to finish up a building and recording takes maximum of 30 minutes because I don't do speed builds anymore. I do those uh, like um, um, camera flow ones. Um, editing maybe takes another 30 minutes. I, I don't know. Upload is very fast on my computer. I, I don't have a problem with the five minute upload. And YouTube is even faster. I have fast internet, so I don't have issues with that either. What was the last TV series you have watched? Uh, American Gods I watched, and before that it was Carnival Row. Really loved the, the Carnival Row. Like, I'm waiting for the se second season for that. What's your spirit animal? I think I'm gonna say a cat, because cats are just wonderful, wonderful animals. <laughs> How did you get into The Sims? Uh, this has been brushed through on previous question already. My brother had borrowed The Sims 1, uh, came back of some kind from his friend, and I saw him have fun with it, and he was downloading a lot of CC, I think, for it, and it was just crazy looking, so that's that's how I got into The Sims in, like, first time. If you've been playing since The Sims 1, which iteration is your favorite? Um, I truly fell in love with the game during The Sims 2. I remember sitting on my PC at the time and playing for hours still, only to realize after six hours, like, that I need to actually get some shit done today. It felt like an hour, but it had been all day already, so yeah. The Sims 2 really, really takes a place in my heart. Any books you are currently reading? Uh, Christian Chuck, uh, the Ramsey series, uh, starting from 1995, I think, the series started. And yeah, I like older books. I don't really enjoy modern sci-fi stuff, not, not really, so I read a lot of fantasy and historical production. Top destination on your must-travel list? Uh, as I said already, I don't really, I haven't been really traveling and I don't really enjoy traveling as such, but I would love to experience Japan one day. Maybe, maybe I get there one day when I'm old, <laughs> old and wrinkly. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, it, it's something I want to see, that, that culture. It's interesting to me. Thank you everyone who sent your questions. I didn't get that many, but I thank you so, so much. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video, whatever it may be. And I hope you have had a best of time and happy saving. I'll see you next video. Bye-bye. <laughs>